Emotive is a neuroengineering company. We have developed a brain-computer interface that utterly transforms the way in which humans can interact with machines. Until this point in time, the way that we interact with machines has always been in a very conscious or direct form. So whether it's something as simple as turning on the light with a switch or as complex as programming a piece of software, we've always had to give a command to a machine or a series of commands for it to do anything for us. But um, when we look at the communication between people, it's actually far more interesting because we take into account far more than what is explicitly expressed. We look at facial expressions, we read body language, and we intuit emotions and feelings into our dialogue with one another. Our vision and emotive for the next generation of human-machine interface is that it will evolve beyond the conscious um, interface that exists today, and uh, non-conscious inputs will play a really big part. So what we do at Emotive is we create technologies that allow us to tap directly into the brain, which is really your centre for control and experience, and we allow machines to understand not only your conscious thoughts, but also your facial expressions and emotions. The way that Emotive has created its detection suites is based on the way in which humans interact with each other. So we have three categories of detections, expressive, affective and cognitive. Expressive is all about understanding your facial expressions. An avatar, when you smile, it can actually understand that you're smiling and express that. And what that does, it allows your expressions in a virtual environment to become far more intuitive, far more natural and personal, and ultimately more lifelike. Uh, the next detection suite that we have is Effective, which is all about understanding your emotional experience. And really the most powerful aspect of this detection is to be able to adjust uh, the game dynamically to your personal experience. Music and sound, um, intensity of the music and the colours in the, in the game, the mood can change based on your emotional experience. And lastly, Cognitive is all about fulfilling mankind's longest and oldest fantasies. Um, and that's the ability for you to be able to control objects just by simply thinking about it. This year we will be releasing the Emotive Epoch, which is the world's first consumer neuro headset. The Emotive Epoch is a high fidelity neuro system and allows a consumer type application to be possible. I mean the idea of collecting brain waves has been around and this technology has been around for almost a century but up until now it has not been possible to um, have a system that can acquire these brain waves in a consumer friendly fashion and what Emotive has been able to do with our sensor technology is to take that step towards a consumer friendly device. It's completely wireless, it has a battery life that will support 12 hours of continuous play and lastly, we've also incorporated a gyroscope into the Epoch that will allow us to track head motion. Uh, we're also able to control camera movement and cursor control. The Emotive Epoch will be sold as a complete product package. So it will be bundled with a game that will allow you to truly experience the unique features of the headset. And in addition to that, um, people that purchase the Epoch will also have access to a next generation online portal that will allow you to experience your own content that you have today in a totally different way. Your music will be able to vary based on your emotional experience. Your, your photos will actually change and reorganize itself based on what you feel. In addition to that, Immortal is the avenue and the gateway for you to download additional content that is available with the Emotive Neuro headset. The Emotive Epoch Neuro headset will also be bundled with a, a software called EmoKey that will allow the end user to be able to attach the Emotive detections into any of your existing PC games. So instead of pressing a button to cast a spell, you can now just simply think about it and be able to see that happen in the game. We've had so much interest from the developer community around the world, across a whole broad spectrum of industries, from education to arts, to music, 
uh, through to medical applications and what we're doing this year is we're going to be making the SDK available as an open standard for all developers around the world to be able to develop applications that support the Emotive Epoch. And what this means is um, if you're in the music industry and you want to do something special with your music so that it can tailor itself and change based on people's moods, you can do that. Um, if you want to make your art transform itself and metamorphose based on the way in which you're expressing yourself facially or whether it's triggered based on your emotional feedback, that can all be possible uh, by taking up the SDK Lite and integrating your applications with the Neuro headset. The Emotive Epoch is going to totally transform the way that gameplay is going to be experienced. I mean, it's never been possible before for you to truly experience magic. I mean, button mashing is not the same as being able to just think of an action, um, think of moving an object forward and seeing it propel into the distance. I mean, just being able to express yourself totally naturally in a game by smiling and laughing out loud. All of these experiences will allow gameplay to be totally immersive, more intuitive and ultimately allow you to have an experience that's never before possible.